Warriors, I'm Jasmine Anderson, and welcome to a special edition of Warriors Weekly News. As we embark on Star Testing Week, it's a time filled with anticipation, hard work, and shared commitment to showcase the incredible knowledge and skills of our student body. Today, we're here to not only keep you informed about the latest news, but also provide support, encouragement, and some helpful insights to help you navigate through challenges of testing. Grab a seat and let's dive into this week edition of WWN, dedicated to making Star Testing Week a success for each and every one of our Warriors. Hi, my name is Deja Fitzgerald. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Continue standing for the Texas flag. Under the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, and one indivisible. And now, for a moment of silence. Thank you, Warriors. Welcome to WWN News. I'm Amari Superville. We recognize that many students are taking exams such as STAR, SAT, and ACT. This can be a stressful experience for many students. As we find ourselves amidst exam season at ProVision Academy, the pressure to perform well may be on the rise. To assist you in navigating this challenging time, we've compiled a set of valuable tips aimed at not only enhancing your test taking skills, but also alleviating anxieties that often accompanies test taking. Here are five tips for students struggling with anxiety before taking a test. Number one, take care of yourself and prioritize self-care, especially in the days leading up to the exam. Ensure that you have enough sleep, eat well, and take breaks during study sessions to avoid burnout. Number two, positive visualization. Visualize yourself succeeding in the test. Imagine going through the exam calmly, answering questions confidently, and feeling a sense of accomplishment. Number three, practice relaxation techniques. Incorporate mindfulness exercises, deep breathing, or progressive muscle relaxation into your daily routine. These techniques can help you calm your mind and reduce anxiety levels. Number four, create a positive study environment. Find a quiet and comfortable space for studying that minimizes distractions. A conducive environment can contribute to a more focused and relaxed study session. Number five, healthy nutrition. Maintaining a healthy diet with nutritious foods, avoid excessive caffeine or sugary snacks as they can contribute to an increase in anxiety. Remember that experiencing some level of stress is normal, but excessive anxiety can hinder your performance. Experiment with different strategies to find what works best for you. And be patient with yourself as you develop effective coping mechanisms for test-related stress. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Savannah Mathis, and welcome to another dose of inspiration on Warriors Weekly News. In a world that's constantly buzzing with news, we believe in taking a moment to reflect on the positive, the uplifting, and the stories that remind us of the strength within our warrior community. Today, we bring you our inspiration video of the week, a story that's bound to lift your spirits, ignite your passion, and perhaps leave you with a smile. So without further ado, let's dive into the power of inspiration right here on WWN. I started ProVision in 1990 and it was on a basketball court. And that was after leaving the NFL after nine years. And I was trying to figure out why did the creator allow for my life to exist. So I was seeking purpose. It led to creating an organization with you in mind, before you were ever born, we were sitting down strategizing and planning for you. And just like for my life, I had people who poured into my life. I wanted to do the same for some young people. And so that's why ProVision came about. That's why these people are here trying to help you organize your life so that you can have a future. And so I just want you to know that there were people who are concerned about you, some of which you may never meet, but they're giving their time, their treasure, and their talents to making sure that you become the best version of yourself. And so nothing in life is free. You do have an obligation once you leave here. You have a responsibility. People ask me, why would I come to Sunnyside and start something like this? 
because people who live in Sunnyside, they matter. And you matter. And so you have no excuses, no crutches to say that no one cares about you. Because back in 1990, myself and my cohorts, we were thinking about you and you weren't even born. And so I want you to know that there's a group of people who you may never see who are thinking about you and pulling for your success. And so you have a responsibility, a duty, an obligation to live your life in such a way that you can honor those who came before you. So again, congratulations. All of you guys will be, should be commended because it's been a, a long, rough, hard road. And so this is not the end, but the beginning. So again, congratulations and much success to your future. Amen. And that wraps up our inspiration video of the week. We hope it brought a little extra warmth to your day and served as a reminder of the incredible things that happen within our warrior community. As we close today's broadcast, carry this inspiration with you, share it with others, and let's continue to uplift each other. This is Savannah signing off for the Warriors Weekly News. Until next time, Warriors, stay inspired and stay connected. Back to you in the studio. Get ready to jingle all the way through PVA's Eight Days of Spirit Week. From December 11th to 21st, our school is transforming into a festive wonderland with a daily dose of holiday cheer. Join me, Victoria Breed and Daisy Fitzgerald as we rock around the Christmas tree on Monday, December 11th for Ugly Sweater Day. On Tuesday, December 12th, show off your candy cane colors with Red and White Day. On Wednesday, December 13th, witness the epic Grinch vs. Santa showdown in Red vs. Green attire. On Thursday, December 14th, dive into Santa's workshop with your favorite festive holiday headwear. On Monday, December 18th, grab your ho-ho-ho homies and twin up with friends. And on Tuesday, December 19th, is the Clash of Carolers with the grade representing their colors. December 20th, we're turning the school into a winter wonderland with our whiteout theme. And finally, December 21st, the Christmas Day will be a surprise and will be announced Tuesday, December 19th. Don't miss a moment of this festive extravaganza at PVA. It's eight days of pure holiday magic. We invite you to join us in supporting both the boys and girls varsity basketball teams as they gear up for a showdown tonight against Sugarland Harmony on December 7th right here at PVA's Warriors Gym. Also, set your calendars and get ready for an electric fine showdown as our PVA Warriors take on their arch rivals, Kip Sunnyside, in a highly anticipated basketball matchup. The stakes are high, the energy is up, and the excitement is building up. Make sure you mark your calendars for Monday, December 18, 2023 as the action unfolds starting at 5.30 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. It's going to be a clash of times and you won't want to miss a single moment of this intense basketball battle. So gather your fellow warriors, deck yourselves out in PVA Spear gear, and let's cheer our team to victory. See you there and may the best team emerge victorious. And for those of you interested in exploring your track and field talents, the upcoming track season is just around the corner. If you're ready to sprint, jump, or throw your way into victory, Reach out to either Coach Beret or Coach Sadbear for more information on how you can get involved. That's all for now in the world of Warrior Sports, WWN Sports. I'm Miracle Bird. Get ready to cheer loud and proud, and we'll see you on the court and tracks. Go Warriors! Hey Warriors, I'm Deja Fitzgerald, and we've got some exciting news coming your way. The Houston Police Department is hosting an event that's perfect for all PBA students. It's called Bikes with Badges, and it's happening on December 9th. 2023 from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. right at the police station located on Macau Road. Now for the scoop. They've got bikes and they want you to have one. It's first come, first serve, so be sure to mark your calendars and set those alarms. But here's the catch. You got to be there in person and receive your brand new bike. That's right, Warriors. It's a fantastic opportunity and we wouldn't want you to miss out. See you at the Bikes and Badges on December 9th, ready to roll and ride into the holiday season. Don't miss it. Good morning, Warriors. I'm Victoria Bree, filling in for your weather girl, Ariel Harris. Let's dive in to our weather forecast for the next five days. Well, Warriors, enjoy some sunny, chilly weather for a couple more days ahead for our next big weather change arriving this weekend. We from blowing in, keep temperatures on the cool side to start today. 
Morning lows will dip into the mid-40s, and with a slight wind stirring, it'll feel a few degrees colder than the actual air temp. And abundance of sunshine throughout the day will only be good enough to warm temperatures in the mid-60s, about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than Tuesday and Wednesday. The cold front is expected to sweep through on Saturday, but the timing is still uncertain. Right now, we are favoring an, an afternoon arrival along with a line of thunderstorms. Some of those storms could turn severe in gusty winds and hail. The front end storms will sweep through quickly, so flooding is not a concern with this round of rain. Sunday will be a chilly day with a stiff northwest wind and high in only the 50s. As the wind settles down Sunday night, temperatures are likely to dip into the upper 30s and low 40s across Houston. It might even be cold enough for some frost in outlying communities. Thank you, Warriors, for tuning in to your weather update with Victoria Bree here at WWN. As we brace for an incoming cold front, remember to bundle up, stay warm, and be prepared for some chilly days ahead. Until next time, back to you at the studio at WWN. Hi, my name is Savannah Mathis, and we're here to celebrate you. We want to give a special shout out to our birthday warriors. Happy birthday to the Corian Broussard, Jeremiah Jackson, Cornell Glover, Ian Washington, Jacob Columbus, James Columbus, Davion Edmondson. Happy birthday to all our amazing classmates celebrating this week. Wishing you all a week filled with joy, laughter, and all the things that can make your heart sing. May this new year bring your endless opportunities, love, and unforgettable moments. Happy birthday to each and every one of you. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday. As we wrap up this special edition of WWN, we want to extend our heartfelt support to all the Warriors gearing up for Star Test. Remember you got the knowledge, skills, and resilience to shine bright. Take a deep breath, stay focused, and give us your best. You've worked hard and we believe in each and every one of you. From all of us at WWN, good luck on your exams, Warriors. Until next time, stay strong, stay positive, and keep conquering those challenges. This is Jasmine Anderson signing off. Go Warriors! <laughs>